Chefs, today's episode is all about celebrating your award-winning cooking and taking it to another level with cannabis. The winner wins our respect and a chance into the Bon Appetit finals. We're excited. These are your judges, Vanessa and Miguel. Good morning, chefs. Hey, guys. Hi. I'm Vanessa LaParado, the founder of Marigold Sweets, and I've been making edibles for almost a decade. Hey, chefs. My name is Miguel Trinidad. I'm one of the founders of 99th Floor, and I have two Filipino restaurants in New York, Maharlika and Jeepney. I'm really excited to see what you guys are going to do. I know this is your first time, or maybe you're not too experienced cooking with cannabis. How did you feel? Scared? Yeah. Yes. Like, <laughs> yes. I'm just as scared because I know the food's going to be delicious, <laughs> and you have very minimal experience with infusions. So always dilute a little bit. OK. Good night. Yeah. You're going to use your infusions along with three high-end mystery ingredients in the hot box. You must use them all. There's no elimination in this particular round, but the winner will get an advantage in the next round. And to my surprise, as well as yours, a little bit later on, George Clinton will be here to help us judge. OK. The godfather of funk is here. Are you ready for the funk? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready, but I'll bet you be I better get ready. Well, let's get it cracking. We have 30 minutes. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, nice. So in the hot pots, we have black truffles. Gold leaf. And caviar. And they have to use all of it. Fancy. Jesus. This is by far way fancier than I thought we were going to be working with. <laughs> yeah. I was pleasantly surprised with what I found under there, because you just never know. It could have been, I don't know, like beef testicles, or, you know, it really could have been anything. I'm going to do a little scallop crudo, a little apple yuzu aioli, and I'm going to infuse the infusion into that, and then do some simple garnish with the three ingredients. I'm going to channel my inner two chains, rock this gold leaf. I'm going to take this salmon and very lightly cook it. We're going to serve it glazed in a little bit of this roasted honey, and then kind of make like a cornbread blini. Dale, I had to do it, my man. I had to bust out the lard. Dude. You can't be the only one living up to the stereotype. You dude. can't get away from it, man. That was lard. <laughs> Damn. That's the way you got to do. There you go. So how are you guys infusing your cannabis? I'm, I'm actually grating it straight into my tartare. Well, that's a way to do it. Yeah. I actually just chopped some up. I'm going to kind of use it as a garnish here. So we'll see how that works. I'm going to go like a Japanese route. I'm going to take the pickled OG leaves and almost make like a wrap. I'm taking some of the pickling liquid that has THC honey, CBD oils, and I'm using that as a seasoning agent for the tartar. I'm looking forward to Dale's dish, because you have that funkiness from the OG and funkiness from the fish sauce. You said all the right things. He was like, yeah, I want to get funky with it. And then we're like, hey, George Clinton's coming, so. He's on the funk. <laughs> George Clinton. <laughs> it's like, do fries come with that shake? <laughs> true OG for a true OG. Should we watch them plate? Let's go get them. Let's do it. You guys are in the zone. We're in the hunger zone. Dale, you've been tasting. We saw you. I have, and I'm starting to feel like <laughs> I've been tasting. 